Hi XR developers, and welcome to a new MR motif, which is our way of introducing development best practices to you as a recipe on how to create outstanding mixed reality experiences. In this tutorial, we're going to learn everything about spatial anchors and collocation, from how to create, save, load and erase anchors, to how to share anchors and even our entire space with friends. To create seamless collocated experiences and even share our space, we first need to understand how spatial anchors work and how we can share them across devices. A spatial anchor is a word lock frame of reference that gives a position and orientation to a virtual object in the real world. Applications can use one anchor per virtual object or choose to have multiple virtual objects use the same anchor as long as the objects are within the coverage area of around 3 meters. Let's cover the basics first. Creating, saving, loading and erasing an anchor. For this purpose, the MR Motif project contains the Spatial Anchor Manager, Spatial Anchor Storage and Spatial Anchor Loader classes. Let's just quickly run through them to get a better understanding. We first cover the Spatial Anchor Manager. We cache a reference to the Anchor Prefab as well as the latest anchor we created. In the update method, we check for different OVR input, such as creating, saving, erasing or loading an anchor. To create an anchor, simply instantiate a prefab containing the OVR Spatial Anchor component or if there is already an object in your scene that you would like to anchor, you can simply add the OVR Spatial Anchor component at runtime instead. It is then best practice to wait until the anchor creation has successfully finished before continuing our logic. In our sample, update anchor info simply updates the label of the anchor with its UID. To save an anchor, we have the save last created anchor method. Here, we take our cached anchor that we last created and call the built-in save anchor async method. When this was successful, we send the anchor's UID to the save UID to player prefs method of our spatial anchor storage class. This method simply stores our anchor UID in the Unity player prefs and gives them a count value so we can later easily loop through all UIDs to load them. Next, if you would like to erase an anchor, you can simply call the built-in erase anchor async method to remove it from persistent storage and then destroy the game object to stop tracking it in the runtime. Lastly, there is loading. Loading an anchor requires several steps. First, we get the list of anchors, or better say, their saved UIDs and we send that to our custom load anchors by UID method in the spatial anchor loader class. The first step is to initialize and load a collection of unbound spatial anchors by UID using the built-in load unbound anchors async method. An unbound anchor represents an anchor instance that is not yet associated with an OVR spatial anchor component. The next step in the loading process is to localize the unbound anchors using the built-in localize async method. Localizing an anchor causes the system to determine the anchor's pose in the world. Localize async will immediately return with a successful result if the anchor is already localized. This leaves us with the third and last step, binding the anchor to an OVR spatial anchor component, which we can remember from the anchor creation. Unbound spatial anchors should be bound to an OVR spatial anchor component to manage their lifecycle and to provide access to other features such as save and erase. Here, we simply instantiate another prefab that contains the OVR spatial anchor component and bind our unbound anchor to it. And that's it. You now already know the whole anchor life cycle. I think we are finally ready to share anchors and create a collocated experience. To set up collocation, we can use collocation discovery since version 71 of the Meta XR SDK in Unity. This is a feature that allows users to advertise to and discover nearby users via Bluetooth. The class it belongs to is called OVR Collocation Session and may be sometimes referred to as Collocation Session. Typically, the advertising client seeks to act as the host for a multiplayer experience and the discovering clients are interested in joining a hosted experience. To enable collocation discovery, the collocation session support permission on the OVR manager needs to be set to required. For shared spatial anchors, also the shared spatial anchor support permission needs to be set to required. Collocation discovery requires only one of these three conditions to be met. The developer is a member of a verified developer organization, the developer is a test user from the developer organization only the app, or the developer is invited by a developer organization to any of the release channels other than the production release channel for the app. Lastly, enhanced spatial services have to be enabled and we have to be connected to the internet. To turn on enhanced spatial services on our MetaQuest device, go to Settings, Privacy and Safety, Device Permissions and select Enhanced Spatial Services. Your app can detect if this setting is disabled and inform users to turn it on. Now, to create a collocated experience or share anchors in general, it is important to note that as of v71, spatial anchor sharing and loading is based on groups rather than user IDs. Previously, sharing anchors required the user to gather a list of all user IDs they want to share an anchor to, which in turn means those users should be entitled to use the app. This means until now, developers needed to upload an app to their developer dashboard 
and either invite the users to their organization or release channels. Group-based sharing, however, demands far fewer prerequisites compared to user-based sharing and uses an arbitrary group UID to share and load anchors. It is the recommended approach for sharing and loading spatial anchors. Before sharing a spatial anchor with a group, one of the participants, usually the host of a multiplayer experience, needs to create a single UID representing the group and communicate it to others. This can be done simply through a network connection such as Photon Fusion or Unity Netcode, or via collocation discovery, which greatly reduces end-user friction around setting up collocated experiences. Let's look at our Shared Spatial Anchor Manager class to understand how collocation discovery works. After the manager, which in this case is a networked object, has spawned, we call Prepare Collocation, which will check if the user is a host or another client. If we are the host, we want to start advertising a session. Optionally, we can send some data with the advertisement, such as a message for the other users or the session name. But here we simply enter null, since we don't need any additional data. We can then await the OVR collocation session .start advertisement async call, and if this is successful, we can get our group ID by simply reading the value of the advertisement result. Then we continue with creation and sharing one anchor, which we call the alignment anchor. By now, we should be quite familiar with how anchor creation and saving works. Even sharing an anchor follows a very similar approach to all the other actions. You can share an anchor by simply calling OVR spatial anchor .share async and passing the anchor as well as our group ID we just generated before. After the host has started advertising the session and has shared the anchor, including the created group ID, all other users are ready to discover the session using that very group ID. For other clients, we use the same entry point, which is the prepare collocation method. But instead, now as a guest, we continue to call the discover nearby session method. Here, we first subscribe to the collocation session discovered event, and then call the OVR collocation session .start discovery async method. The user will then start the discovery. Once the session is discovered, the collocation session discovered event is being invoked and our own collocation session discover callback gets activated. In this callback method, we can unsubscribe from the event as we don't want to discover any other session and we can then read the group ID from the session information. We then send this group ID to our custom method responsible for loading the anchor. Here, we follow the same approach as before, where we first load an unbound anchor, this time using our group ID. Step two is to localize the unbound anchor. And step three is to bind the unbound anchor to a OVR spatial anchor component. Lastly, the user has to align themselves with the anchor to experience the same tracking space as the host. For this, we created the collocation manager class. We pass the spatial anchor over to our custom align user to anchor method. This code aligns the camera rig with the spatial anchor moving and rotating the camera rig to match the position and orientation of the anchor. And this is all we need to create a collocated experience. In our project, we included a shared whiteboard in the collocation discovery sample, where you and multiple friends can draw and move around the whiteboard either with hands or controllers. Hands interaction is making use of the brand new micro gestures. So definitely check this scene out if you are interested to learn more. After learning the basics of spatial anchors and going over more advanced concepts of sharing anchors and using collocation discovery, we take it one step further in one more sample scene. A popular use case when doing collocation is to also share the room layout with other users. With version 74 of the Meta XR SDK, we did introduce just that. MRUK now hosts a powerful space sharing API, making it extremely easy and seamless to share MRUK rooms across clients in a collocated experience. For space sharing, only the host needs to have a scanned room beforehand. All guest devices will not need to scan the room they are in and simply receive and load the host setup. As opposed to group-based anchor sharing, which has fewer requirements, for space sharing, we still do need to upload the APK to a release channel on the developer dashboard, and all users or test users must be invited to that channel or the organization. This is simply for improved security. A further limitation is that it is not possible to share a space between two devices locked into the same meta account. So you will need at least two devices for development as of today. You will either need to use a second device of a friend or colleague, or you can follow this easy guide to set up a test user. You can then simply log into this test user on your second device. Now for the technical setup. The project contains the space sharing scene and we added the space sharing manager class. This is the only component we need and the whole space sharing can be done in just a few lines of code using collocation discovery from before. We follow the same workflow as before by first calling prepare collocation and then after starting the advertisement, instead of creating and sharing an anchor, we share our MRUK rooms. We can share all MRUK rooms on our device at once or simply share the current one. In this sample, we just share all the rooms. Since this is a multiplayer experience, 
we want to notify every client who joins our session with some information such as the room UID and the floor world pose of the first room in this case. Like before, with each client we start the discovery process and then, instead of loading the anchor, we want to load the rooms that have been shared with us. We parse the room UID from our network variable that the host has updated and then do the same for the floor's world pose. We can then call load scene from shared rooms from our MRUK singleton instance and pass our room UIDs, the group ID we got from the collocation discovery, as well as the alignment data, which consists of the current room UID and its floor pose. And that's how we can easily share a complete room scan with multiple clients in the same physical environment. This sample also contains a network ball spawner, allowing you and your friends to bounce off balls of your furniture and walls. Amazing, and that's it. This is how easy it is to work with spatial anchors and set up a collocated experience in just a few hours. You can find this project with all the source code on GitHub. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to check out our blog post about collocated experiences to get even more tips. We can't wait to see what you will build with these new capabilities.